In this video, I will show you how to create table describing your data set. We usually call this table 1 in a paper in 30 seconds. This is really automatic. And I'm using data set including people treated in ICU. And patients were divided by whether they had right heart catheterization or not. This is people with and this is people without. Okay? And if you want to describe how many people whose racial status is black, and you can see there are 585 people in the group without catheterization, which is 16.5%. You can see uh, there are 1,637 females, which is 46% in the group without catheterization. And you can also see the mean age with standard deviation. And also for creatinine and bilirubin, you can see median value with interquartile range. Great thing about EZR is you can also compute automatically p-value from the test automatically chosen by the computer. So if you have a categorical variable comparing by two groups, it will choose Pearson chi-square test. Or uh, if you have fewer number of patients, any computer will use Fisher's exact test. And if you have continuous variable, normally distributed comparing between two groups, computer will grab student t-test. If it is not normally distributed variable, it will grab my Whitney U test. Isn't it easy? Second step of this video, I will show you how to download this into Excel so you can edit, make it fancier, so that you can copy and paste into your research paper. Okay, let's read the data set in. So you go to import data. I have data in CSV format, so I grab this one and click OK. And this is a data set I'm going to read in. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm creating table by whether a patient had right heart catheterization or not. Zero for patient without and one is for patient with catheterization. And uh, you can actually create a table with as many variables as you want but for this example I will include age and sex and race APS which is severity score and mean blood pressure so you go to graphs and tables and choose one uh, actually second one from the bottom and this is a grouping variable uh, you choose variable which you want to categorize this table by so which is right heart catheterization yes and no okay and then these three boxes are where you choose variables you want to put in the table so uh, this box is for categorical variables so I will choose race and sex from here so in order to choose multiple variables, and here is a trick. So you click race and click control button on your keyboard. And keep pushing and then click sex. Okay. And then uh, these two boxes you choose continuous variables from. And this is for normal, normally distributed variables, and this is for non normally distributed variable. Actually, uh, this is the variable you want to compute mean and standard deviation. And this box is for variables you want to compute median and interquartile range, or minimum and maximum values for a range. Okay, so I would choose age since H is usually normally distributed and then I choose APS because this may be skewed 
and I will choose mean blood pressure as this is usually normally distributed variables okay and click here uh, you can specify the test uh, you want to compute p-values for and I usually keep this as automatic selection if you have frequencies enough to compute chi-square computer will automatically choose chi-square and then if you if you don't have enough patient enough samples to compute chi-square it will use Fisher's exact test automatically so you don't have to worry about which one to choose as long as you keep this as automatic selection and this is a button actually for these variables variable which you select as not normally distributed if you want to compute minimum and maximum values for a range and click as uh, keep as a default but i usually use interquartile range uh, for medium values and a new ezr now actually have options to compute standardized differences if you are doing propensity scores and you want to compare balance between groups and you might want to use this uh, standardized difference for now I will keep as a default and if you want to and let's click OK and see, see what's there okay isn't it wonderful All right. so now you probably want to make this table a bit fancier uh, let's say you type this you want, may want to spell this out or you might want to say patient with or without you go back to the dialog box and then now you click csv file and this will, this will automatically output the result of this analysis into excel okay All right. so now, now let's open excel And here is table one and you just create it so you can edit as you like in the Excel I hope the analysis with easier you find very easy and quick